<laughs> Good evening and welcome to our night prayer on today, Corpus Christi, the day of thanksgiving for the institution of Holy Communion. Joining me this evening are Jamie and Olivia. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Preserve me, O oh God, for in you I have taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, you are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names on my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel. And in the night watches, he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand. I shall not fail, fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon me, abandon my soul to death, nor suffer, suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life in your presence is the fullness of joy. And in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Acts, chapter 11, starting to read at the 19th verse. The Church in Antioch. Now those who were scattered because of the persecution that took place over Stephen travelled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus and Antioch. And they spoke the word to no one except Jew. But among them were some men of Cyprus and Cyrene, who on coming to Antioch spoke to the Hellenists also, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number became believers and turned to the Lord. News of this came to the ears of the church of Jerusalem and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he came and saw the grace of God he rejoiced and he exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast devotion for he was a good man full of the Holy Spirit and of faith and a great many people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for an entire year they associated with the church and taught a great many people, and it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. At this time, prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus stood up and predicted by the spirit that there would be a severe famine over all the world. And this took place during the reign of Claudius. 
the disciples determined that, according to their ability, each would send relief to the believers living in Judea. This they did, sending it to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. Here ends the reading. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as an apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping that awake we, we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. As we pray, let us remember our leaders as they prepare to bring us out of the depths of the lockdown we have been in. And it may, may be done sensibly and that people may honour what is being done. We pray for all those who are working for our benefit. And we pray for those in the health service, the doctors and the nurses and the ancillary staff. We pray for those in the community supporting us through this. The, those involved with public transport in the retail sector and in agriculture. We ask you to protect them and uphold them in all they do. Amen. Merciful God, we trust to your unfailing and tender care this night, those who are ill or in pain, knowing that whenever danger threatens, your everlasting arms are there to hold us safe. Comfort and heal them and restore them to health and strength through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know, uh, know within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread 
forgive us our sins as we forgive those who lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord. For the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread the lord bless us and watch over us the lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us the lord look kindly on us and give us peace amen amen